Hi, I am Dr. Azmi Zehra. I belong to Delhi and currently I am residing in Greater Noida. I will be talking on this topic. It is a non-obstructive azoospermia. It is one of the cause hypogonadotropic hypogonadism. What is happening? This is our brain. From here, anterior and posterior pituitary. From the posterior pituitary, we are getting hormones which act on our gonads. Right? Now, hypogonadotropic means the pituitary is not, not functioning. Now, the, when pituitary is not functioning, ultimately the testes won't work. Decreased LH, decreased FSH and from here decreased prolactin. Right? And from here again the testosterone will be decreased. These, these will be our labs. But how the patient will uh, clinically present to us? When the patient will come, this will be a, a, a boy around uh, 20s in his 20s brought by the family mostly and with a complaint that the baby this boy has to get married and uh, the, he is not willing to get married because of the sexual dysfunction where because of erectile dysfunction and this boy will have sparse beard sparse hair on the body plus the, you will see the, a kind of um, gynecomastia in him so the, uh, his com main complaint will be that he has never got arousal, he has never got erect erection of any sort. So this thing, this case is a clinical diagnosis. This thing, this case, we before going to the labs, we can diagnose clinically. And when we go for the reports, we can, we can see the LH is reduced, FSH is reduced, and ultimately testosterone is reduced, prolactin is reduced. Fine. So this is a case of higher, how, how we proceed to, uh, in this Leydig cells and sartorial cells are down regulated. And if we are uh, talking about just the testicular failure, where the pituitary is okay, there, uh, there you won't see the Leydig cells and sartorial cells down regulated, they failed. They are, the receptors are not re uh, re are, are actually damaged. Here receptors are fine, but they are down regulated. Now we are, as we move on to the treatment, treatment, uh, we give, uh, first we give HCG. SCG 2000 international units for uh, bi-weekly for up to uh, over 4 weeks. Then uh, after 4 weeks we add HMG 150 million international units along with the HCG for 6 months. And we call the patient after 4 months. F after 4 months uh, the patient must be, uh, will be happy with you because he must be feeling the, um, some morning uh, erection is there. Morning uh, erection is he is feeling already. Then we can uh, proceed with adding coenzyme Q and this uh, vitamin, multivitamins, vitamin E to the treatment. And ultimately after 6 months we may be, we mostly we are able to, uh, we, uh, we, we are able to uh, receive the sample, he is able to give the sample. If by chance after 6 months also the patient is saying he is unable to give the sample, then we have to refer the patient to the endocrinologist for another uh, review. And plus um, the this he, what, what the endocrinologist will do, he or she may add the testosterone to the treatment. Thank you. Hello everyone.